Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Very different start for today. I'm actually starting off with the Prime Icon Pack. My personal feeling along those, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me questions about the Prime Icon Pack. I think for an 88 rated squad, it's worth it if you can get some fodder in the club or already have it. So just send one or two, just see what you get. At the end of the day, there are so many amazing, amazing products. Prime icons, I thought, you know what, it is, it's worth it in my opinion. EA, are you about to prove me right or wrong? That's a question. Um, we'll see, we'll see if EA proved me right or wrong. But no, in my opinion, that it is worth it. There are a lot of very good icons you can get. My icon's gonna be, it's gonna be Litmanen. Thanks very much, EA. You, you know, you know what, I, I just talked good about the icons, how great they are, what an amazing bit of content they are, and you give me Litmanen, yay. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Let's go rate some teams. Starting off with Robbie's team, he says, Hi, Haber. Untradables are Benzema, Ariola, and the three concepts. Any help need if possible. Any help need if possible. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to try and, and be an idiot and, and, and pretend that I know about grammar. Um, Okie dokie. Let's look at this team. This is a very interesting team. I like your back line a lot. Um, I like your midfield a lot. And I do like your attack. The only thing is, what I would say with this attack... And it's, it's personal preference, really. I find this attack kind of boring. Lucas and Ben Yedda are people that... Like, the players are people that have been using since the start of the game. I always find it boring with those kind of cards these days. They might be really effective in game. I just personally find it quite boring. Um, what I would say with this is, obviously, if you want to keep them, you want to use them, then fair play. Uh, but there are a lot of different options you can go with. For example, you can go with, like, a, uh, a Jane Sancho right wing and then up top like a Royce or something uh, and play Royce Central Cam and Jaden Sancho. Obviously, you'll be playing uh, Endon Bele and Paya off Cam in that regard, but still decent, decent change in my opinion. Uh, obviously, again, that's just my personal preference. Uh, aside from that, honestly, just upgrading players to so better versions of those players will help you out a lot. Um, the next team coming from uh, Soodles, who says, uh, Hi, hey, but Mendy, Katusa, Politano are untradeable, and the second picks I'll play in game. I'm thinking of grindings and Mendy's 89 and taking Draxler on level 30. Please rate my team out of 10. Keep it the good work. Let's check it out, bro. Ooh, mate, that Draxler card. I keep forgetting it exists, man. It looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. This is a very interesting team. What I would say, right, Mendy is 100% worth going to the 89 version. You don't actually have to win any games between the 85 and the 89. This card, all you have to do is you have to play 22 rival games. You have to play 10 with the 87 in your squad. Um, and I think you have to, sorry, 12 with the 87 rate, rate in your squad and 10 with the 85 in your squad. You can literally, and I said this before and I'll say it again, you can go into a game with a full bronze team that fit the requirements. Go into a rivals game, prop your controller up so that your, your analog stick is like leaning against something and go do something with 20 minutes of your day whilst the gameplay plays out you get rival points which will get you to a higher rank uh you you'll probably get deranked in in rivals which if that's something you want to do that will help you out as well i don't you know i don't advocate it i don't think it's a good idea but if that's something you want to do then go for it um and you get the mendy card for literal literally free and it doesn't it, it, it doesn't stress you out it takes no brain power it's super easy to do um i highly recommend every single person that's watching this video right now go and get at least the 89 mendy and you know what else i recommend doing going and getting this kessi as well even if you're not running a city team if you don't have any ivory coast links if you've not got any milan players this card is still either a ridiculous set uh, uh ridiculous center middle cdm a super sub or even just can throw into an icon SPC. It's a 94 rated card. I highly recommend it for anyone watching this video right now to go and do that. So yeah, definitely get the 89 Mendy um, and then just work on upgrading your center back. So get yourself a better version of Varane if you can. Um, upgrade to the headliner Semedo, who I think is actually pretty cheap right now. Um, a lot of these cards are dropping in price massively. So 76k for this uh, for this headliner Semedo card. Go and upgrade that Semedo to the headliner card. Uh, upgrade Varane to whichever version you can afford. The best version you can afford probably as well. And sort of go from there. But this is a nice squad. You've got the foundations of a very, very good squad going there. The next one coming from J1, who says, uh, stream's been class recently. Hey, appreciate that. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, I recommend doing so. Link in the description. I, tre I stream pretty much every single day. The off off day, I take a day off sometimes every every two or three weeks when I'm feeling super tired. Uh, but apart from that, we stream pretty much every single day. Um, he says, I've got Oblak and Matima ready now. I've done 20,000 coins. We'll have rewards. Uh, only have 20,000 coins, but we'll have rewards on Thursday. My only trade was on Neymar, Martinez, and also Cannavaro. Uh, any improvements? Ooh, okay. Um, interesting. This is a good squad. This is a very good squad. What kind of fodder have you got chilling in the club? Because this is, again, this is another one where I see that and I'm thinking... 
throw some fodder into a, an icon SBC. And I know, like, a lot of you guys are, are going to comment in the video and you're going to be saying things like, but I can't afford uh, an icon SBC. I can't, like, no, some of us can't submit all our fodder into an SBC, etc., etc. If you have players on the bench that maybe you've not touched in a little while, if you have players in the club you've not used in a little while but have sentimental value, realistically, if you've not used those cards in a while and you're sticking with the same sort of team, you're using the same players, there's no point keeping them. The game has about two or three months left of the game cycle. And whilst we're going to have a fun couple of months and get some really cool SBCs, a lot of those lower end players are going to become obsolete very soon. For example, I see a 91 uh, Nedved on your bench and a 92 Jivinko. Both those cards, in my opinion, you can just throw into it. Like, Quadrado is a very good card as well. Um, but if you haven't used those cards, or maybe you have like a 90 rated or an 89 rated team this season in the club that you haven't used in ages... You might as well send it, and and I know, like I said, it's it's a lot of coins, and it's a big risk to to send an icon pack. But for me personally, there are so many amazing players you can get versus so many bad players that I think it's it's kind of worth it. I think it's about half and half, and you know, even getting someone like, for example, I've just seen Waiter's team, like a Prime Stoichkov, I've seen come out of the pack quite a lot, and he's a very very good player and will improve teams massively. You know, yeah, anyway, we've got Waiter's team here. Yeah, just did Perisic, uh, and already regret it because Jovic came out. Is it worth building the second team or the first team? I keep upgrading. I'm planning on buying Varane and Stoichkov soon, but after willing to save up, uh, is there any upgrades I should do in the future? All right. So, let's talk SBCs for a moment, okay? First things first, the SBCs EA releasing right now are pretty decent, okay? Um, Jovic, for me personally, a little bit expensive for a card that I think will probably turn like a trucking game. He's just got that bulky body type, uh, but he's four-star, five-star, and quite cheap in comparison to other SBCs. So, if it's, a, if it's a card that'll fit into your team, probably worth doing it, right? Ivan Perisic, 111k for this card is definitely a, it's a steal. It's a fantastic card. Again, he's got a bulky body type in game, so he will turn pretty slowly and he might be like a truck, but for half the price of Jovic, for a, a rating higher and better stats in my opinion, 100% a big win. Definitely do this SBC if you've got the coins. Uh, Endon Bele, another one. If he's, Is he still available? He's got three days remaining. Uh, this card as well. For about 140k, one of the best center mid CDMs cams in the game that you can use. Genuinely, he is so good in every single position in the midfield. Highly recommend doing this SPC if you've got him as well. It's 284 rated squads. It's 100% worth it. Um, so I would say out of these SPCs have released so far, go and do Jovic and Perisic if you have the coins. They are 100% worth it and fantastic cards to add into your teams. I very much highly advocate these SPCs. They are incredible value for money and definitely worth it um so yeah alongside the the kessie and the mendy yeah, you've done a fantastic job of sbcs and objectives they seem to be giving away uh amazing cards for very cheap value and i really like it anyway so this is waste's team um he says uh first team uh should i build the first team or second team or build the first team and keep upgrading um so this is what he's thinking of with the second team the second team looks really good but i prefer the first team again like perisic in my opinion is better than jovic um and with this team as well, I think that uh, Alan is a little bit... <laughs> it's a weird one. Alan at Cam, just a no-no for me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if you're playing a different formation in game. Maybe you're playing a 4 one 2 2 and that would make a little bit of sense. But yeah, for me, Alan's a, Alan's a bit of a, a no-no at Cam. Um, I would say build this one. The only thing I would say, right, is Stoichkov, he's very cheap. Obviously, his baby's very cheap. It's like, it, it's literally 100,000 coins. His prime is... Just over double that. If you can save up an extra 100k, just get his prime. This card is phenomenal um, and would work really well in the team. I would say build the first team. And if you're playing a narrow, then fair play. If you're playing a 43-1 or something along those lines, I would not play Alan as a cam. He just would not work as a cam, in my opinion. Uh, next team coming from Matt, who's just got 300k liquid. The second team is in game. Tevez and Salvio are tradable. I've got a few decent untradables in the club and getting the 93 Mendy. Looking for any improvements. Happy to grind. Keep it the quality streams and videos. Thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate it, dude. Um, this is a nice team. Again, with your untradables, you've got the 92 Fuenza leader on the bench. You've got the 90 PK and you've got anything else in the club. Uh, you're going to have an 89 Mendy when you get the 93. You're going to have that one free as well. I would do a prime icon pack if I were you. Looking at your team, realistically, some of the players that you can get in the prime icon pack, um, there are a lot of players you can get that are better than Odegaard. A lot of players you can get that are better than Ansu. A lot of players you can get that are better than Petit at centre-back and better than Modric at CDM uh, and then better than Regulion at centre-back as well. This team is incredibly meta and a great team, but I would say send an icon pack because you, you genuinely could get so many better players that will improve your team massively. Um, regardless of that, though, we'll not talk about, uh, you know, potentials and we talk about the actual team 
your center backs, although I guess they're pretty meta, is a little bit wary. Like for me, if I was playing against you, I feel like I would probably, I'd probably, you know, get a lot of goals against you. And 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 that's because I feel like Petit is a bit too slow for a center back spot, and Regulion's a bit too weak for a center back as well. Um, you've got quite a weak uh midfield as well as well, like like as well as well. Shut up, Brian. Uh, like Vidal's great, but Modric is quite weak in my opinion. Um, and then you've got quite a weak attack force as well. I would say maybe try and get someone a little bit bulkier in somewhere around there. Uh, maybe you get a better center back and you play. Uh, Petit is CDM, and then Modric maybe plays as like a cam or something. I don't know. Um, but I would say try and get a little bit more bulk in that team. Uh, but it's a nice team, though. The rest of it is very nice. And obviously, it, you know, if you're the kind of guy that 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 is really good with agility and balance, then it will just work really well for you. And, and that's just me waffling at the end of the day. Um, but that is uh, that is just my opinion. Next one coming from Alex says, I don't have many coins, but can save. Everyone is untradeable, but I'm grinding to 93 Mendy. Love the vids. Got you, bro. Try going to 93 Mendy. Oh, you're going to play him right back. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I was like, where are you playing, Mendy? And then I saw him. I was like, ah, oh, that makes sense. I was looking for the uh, for the white splashy color card, but obviously, um, yeah, there you go. This is a very nice team, though. I like this team a lot. Honestly, I don't have any improvements for this team right now, apart from maybe a goalkeeper. Obviously, you got the goalie that's, that's linking to Saab, but Tots Mandanda genuinely is not bad. I have played against Tots Mandanda a, a lot, and he's made some ridiculous saves against me. So he's actually not too bad. I would probably give him a go. Uh, I'd also say, so you're playing in-game a 4-2-3-1. Um, I would say maybe... Huh. Eh, nah, I was going to say maybe try and get yourself someone better than, than Pedro at this stage of the game, but... He's actually pretty decent still, to be fair. It probably works really well. Like I said, this is another team that I very much like. And then obviously with the, the 87 and the 89 rated Mendy when you get to the 93, submit those into an SBC. Um, I think on the web app, you can still submit the same version of the player in the same SBC. So you can put the 87 and the 89 into the same SBC. It's a glitch. You can look it up on YouTube. Um, and if that's the case, then you can literally, you're almost at an icon pack with, with that and then like two or three more fodder players, you know? So that's pretty cool. Uh, next one coming from Jasper, who says, hey mate, what would you rate my team out of 10? Keep it the good work. Hey, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Out of 10, that's a solid 9.9 out of 10. Easily a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only thing I don't like about this this, this whole team, there's only one thing, and it's what's giving the, the 0.1 rating off of a 10 out of 10. Hakimi. I just don't like him, man. This year, he just feels awful. I don't know what it is about him. He just does not play to his stats, in my opinion. Apart from that, this team is absolutely fantastic, and I do like it a lot, Jasper. Uh, it's very, very nice. Next one coming from Foot Trailer, who seems to get into the episodes every single week. I have no idea how... He always gets in. Uh, he says, love the vids, Ryan. Keep it the great content. Uh, I would love to you to recommend some upgrades with the starting 11 and the bench and a rating for my team. I've got a million coins and it's all untradeable. Carvel, I'm not trying. I'm just going to give you a rating because I'm not going to lie. I've, this is the third or fourth episode in a row that you've been in. And like everything just carries over at that point. And I'm probably going to end up contradicting myself anyway. So I'm going to give you out of 10. This seems a 9.9 .9 out of 10 as well. I would say... Just try and do some Prime Micro Packs and maybe get lucky and, and get Prime Croy from Prime Dale Gleach. But apart from that, the rest of the team is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, next one comes from Sondre. First is how I start, second is in-game. Which is the best of number three or four? Do you have any other ideas? I've got 300k. Everyone's on tradable. Let's check it out, mate. Oof. Okay. Um, which is better out of three and four? This one. This one's better in my opinion. I like this, but Ronaldo for me, I actually submitted my Ronaldo into an SBC. Uh, my untradeable 93 Ronaldo. It's at the point now where you need, in my opinion, players that are strong but also fast. And that's Josef Martinez in a nutshell. Ronaldo's been outgrown by a lot of team of season cards now. Obviously, his team of season is still phenomenal, but his normal card has been outgrown by a lot of team of season cards now. So I would personally go for this. This is a very nice squad. I like that a lot. Uh, next one coming from Matt, who I've already rated, and then Sandre, who I've already rated, and J1, who I've already rated. Next one coming from TTV Ghost Plays, who says, Can you also rate my team and suggest any upgrades? Uh, 200,000 quid spare could save easily. Second is what I'm playing game. So, Yunchu, Mane, David Luiz, Charles, and Petit are the only tradables. The rest are untradable. Uh, love the vids, keep the good work. Let's check it out, mate. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Let's check it out. Ooh. Yarrow's got to be upgraded massively. Um, I think your your two centre backs have got to be upgraded massively. Like they they are the weak point of your squad. Everything else is fantastic, um, but your centre backs need to be improved a hundred percent. Now whether you go with icon left centre back and then I don't know like a Van Dyke at right centre back, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna leave that up to how you play because I don't know how you play in game. And centre backs, in my opinion, are very much based on how you play. I like Cannavaro and Desai. I like smaller, uh, stocky centre backs that can that can run fast and and recover quickly from tackles. But a lot of people like bigger, taller, chunkier centre backs. So it's all about how you play in game, mate. But like, 
yeah, uh, everything else is fantastic in this team, apart from your centre-backs. Next team from Flem, uh, 43 winning game, one of the 160,000 coins extra. Uh, Neymar, Mendy, Mbappe, and Figo are untradeable. Any improvements? Love the vids. Wow. Man's got Neymar and Mbappe untradeable. That is absolutely insane. Um... Yeah, for me, Emerson's not a centre back, bro. That and you did eighty seven Militao, big L. Um do better version of Mendy. So easy. Got no excuse for not doing it. Um get a better centre back over uh Emerson, save up for Diego Carlos. Um and then get better CDMs as well. Uh, I would say probably save up to get yourself Tots Alwa, who's actually pretty cheap at the moment, and then maybe a Tots Renato Sanchez as well. Um and you've got a fantastic team there. Very, very nice indeed, mate. Uh next one from Aaron. First is, is a start, second is in game. Tradables are Alisson, Costa, and Hakimi. 500k for upgrades, love the vids. Hey, thanks, man. Got Prime Zidane. Nice, dude. That's pretty mental. Um, wait, the yeah, the tradables are Alisson, Costa, and Hakimi. Nice. I would say, personally, I don't like Hakimi. Get yourself foot birthday, Danny Da Costa. Um, I'd also say, I don't like uh, Costa at left mid. I don't think he's great either. I would say, as a left mid, probably go with someone who's French, maybe. Um... I mean, go with whoever you want, really, but, like, a French player could work. Um, yeah, I just personally don't like it. I'd also say maybe maybe go with Kessie. Um, that could work. Replace Jordan Henson with that new uh, objective Kessie. He'd get full chem and then put Canty on eight chemistry, but still be pretty decent upgrade, if you ask me. Um, apart from that, the rest of the team is absolutely phenomenal. GG on Prime Zidane. I'm jealous. That's one that I really want. I want to carry on grinding the Prime Icon packs. I, I'm very committed to them because I want to be able to have players like Prime Zidane in the team and I want to have players in the club that I can swap in and out all the time and constantly change the team up uh, but at the minute I keep getting people like Litman and Duplicate so I have to resubmit and I'm losing out on a lot of a lot of uh, players and stuff um, this team from Angel part 2 Hazard isn't tradable I want to replace Guardiola but I don't know with who check it out I would say with if you want to replace Guardiola um Icon wise, there's a lot of very good. I mean, Petit's better than Guardiola, in my opinion. Petit's very much better than Guardiola. Um, Balak's better than Guardiola. Baby Blanc, in my opinion, is better than Guardiola as well. Legit. Um, so, any of those options, just go with the CDM that you like. The rest of the team is great, though. The rest of the team does not need changing. Apart from, again, 87 Militao, big L. Why'd you guys do 87 Militao? No. And 88 Allen. And no you've done all of the worst versions. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to, I need to, I need to move on. I need to move on. I need to, I can't, I can't deal with it. Clerco, please save me. Uh, hi, Haber. Can you rate my team? I'm trying to resolve Layman and Fernandini. Love the vids. Yeah, dude, I got you. Uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Fuchs is, is obsolete in this stage of the game. Same with Ogbonna and Sonu uh, Soyuncu. Both, in my opinion, are obsolete in this stage of the game. I think you can do way better than Madison at left cam as well. Um, I would say revamp the defense and, and get a better left cam. Uh, apart from that, the team is very good in, in all other aspects of the team. Uh, and the last one is going to be from Adela. It's going to be Hi Haber. This is my team. The second pick is in game, and, and this is our playing game. Uh, everyone is untradeable. Not sure who else to get. I've got 50,000 coins. Keep it the good work. Enjoying your vids. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. Oh, okay. Very interesting. I like when people play the 4 and 2 on 2 narrow, man. It makes me happy. It's a great formation. I would say um, get the 89 Mendy, 100%, and maybe save up to get team of season Odegaard. How much is Odegaard these days? I doubt he's that expensive. I highly doubt he's that expensive. He's 130k. That's not going to take you long to save up for. Maybe like a uh, some Sudamericana grind or by a rewards day, you'll get him. Um, and then the rest of the team is pretty solid, if you ask me. Uh, and thank you very much for the epic support. And thank you all for supporting the channel. Thank you all for watching, liking, commenting, and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Uh, sorry if my energy does not seem there today. I've been ill for the past, like, day and a half. I don't know what's happened to me. Um, I'm falling apart. Uh, so I <laughs> appreciate all the support. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.